and this is explaining how the stop rotor works. This is my stop rotor craft. It's a Starship Enterprise. Now, some of the parts aren't my idea. The, those aeroplane propellers, the way they are arranged and how they work isn't my idea. But the stop rotor is. I suppose the wrap round wing is my idea, but that's just, just for particular, this particular model. I have other designs with the open rotor. Anyway, I got the idea from a thing called the Eurocopter X3. And it's very similar. It even has the same aeroplane propellers like that. Because that's where I got the idea from. But the main rotor on this craft keeps spinning at all times. And the aeroplane propeller just push it along put it through the air. Like pushing a helicopter through the air. Forcing it through the air and cause a lot of fuel burn. And so I decided to use that design to make another thing. This is my stop rotor craft. The same aeroplane propellers and the only real difference is that it's got a stop rotor on its back rather than spinning at all times. It decreases the drag a lot. But before we go too far I'm going to just show you the stop rotor idea. My stop rotor experiment. Here we go. And you see it's out in the window, car window, and stopped. Now it windmills, and now it's stopped. Nose up to windmill it, and then nose back down to stop the rotor. And there we have the stop rotor craft. Uh oh. In three seconds we have the stop rotor craft. And the rotor stops in that position by itself. And you can restart it by, its, by itself too. Just by the airflow you can restart it as well. And um, like a gyrocopter and just muck around the pitch of the blade. So when you want to stop the rotor it's like that and when you want to start it up again it's like that. Just give it more angle of attack and you, and you just give it negative pitch or reverse pitch on the blades it makes the, 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 the rotor turn in the right direction. And once it's spun up to the right speed apply power to the rotor and normal pitch that's a helicopter and as well you muck around with the pitch on the aeroplane propellers so they thrust backwards both thrust backwards and forward push it along forwards and when you're turning to a helicopter of course you play around with the with the pitching the blades of the aeroplane propellers again and make one with the reverse pitch the thru thrusting opposite to each other to, to act like a tail rotor to counteract the torque and that's exactly what the Eurocopter X3 does we'll just have a look at it again um, down here the same aeroplane propellers so when it's a helicopter they thrust opposite the aeroplane propellers do and when it's pushed along through the air both somewhat thrust 
backwards and thrust the machine forward. Anyway, but the rotor blades are always spinning which causes lots of drag and um, to solve the drag problem they stop the rotor and it's easy to do, you just saw how it's done and um, instead of using 4,000 horsepower to, to go 300 miles an hour it only used about 2,000 horsepower going on the specifications of planes. Pl planes probably use less than that again to go that speed, it's uh, 1,600 or something. One plane is called the Avanti, which this one is based on. Have a look that up. Because it's a super plane. It's a fast aeroplane. 100 miles an hour faster than the average plane a really fast plane and so we base it on something like that to get the extra no we didn't get it this time no we got it there it is there's the Avanti very similar sort of thing except it hasn't got a stop rotor on its back but it's got it's, it's different than mine because it's only based on it for instance the propellers are facing the other way and mine the propellers would be facing forwards because the thrust would be close to the centre of the rotor blade to make it better for tail rotor use and tail rotor in inverted commas. That's 400 mile an hour plane. That's a 400 mile an hour aeroplane with 12 passengers and it uses 1600 horsepower to do it so it uses a low fuel burn whereas the X3 it uses um, 4,000 horsepower to do the same to do a 300 miles an hour sort of thing. There it is. It uses 4,000 horsepower to go nearly 300 miles an hour, where the Avanti uses 1,600 horsepower to go 400 miles an hour. But most aeroplanes, Joe Blow average aeroplanes, are like do about 300 miles an hour. We're still a little bit faster than this, with half the horsepower. So that's just ridiculous. Obviously, it's the spinning rotor drag is slowing it down. So if you stop the rotor, it's going to slow it down a bit, but not as much as that. And the main thing, it's going to be a lot less power required. To get to 300 miles an hour, sort of thing. There it is again, my plane. Just a quick show it a bit. Based on the Avanti. Now back to this. We look at the Osprey. There's the Osprey. The Osprey is a transformer shape change machine. That's an aeroplane, and then it's a helicopter. So when it's an aeroplane, it's got great big cumbersome propellers and mine's got a stop rotor on its back both slowing it down slower than the plane but not, not very much and so about the same there but even Stevens on par I'd say so mine would be a bit the same efficiency that just guessing but when it comes to the vertical lift mine doesn't require that transformer shape change but that has it's much simpler. So it's mine with the. Oh, it's gone again. Come back, yeah. With mine, is obviously there's no big tilting happening there at all. The rotor just starts and stops. I showed you how that happens. And so you get the same deal as the Osprey with a lot less cost and it's a lot better deal than the X3 because you're using half the fuel. So you're going double the distance, you've got double the range of the X3 just by stopping the rotor. You can convert the X3 pretty easily, so easily. 
can I go back to the X3? If I can, I can go back to the X3. There's the X3. Just to replace the wangy blades where it is here. It's got five wangy blades. Replace them with three stiff blades like on the Osprey, which you saw. Similar sort of blades on the Osprey, not exactly the same of course, but three stiff blades and you got it. You already got the clutch and everything. Just do that, theoretically. In practical terms you probably have to do a lot, but theoretically when it comes to basic um, sort of concept. So, you know, there it is again. So it's, that's an aeroplane nearly, this machine. Is, it's a helicopter starting to evolve into an aeroplane. You can see that, look, so it's evolving into an aeroplane. It nearly looks like a plane sort of thing, with its propellers and everything like that, you know? And mine's just taking it a next step through evolution. No. So now, it's evolved into a pure plane. Here we have it. It's evolved into a pure plane, and it also remains to be a pure helicopter. When it's a pure plane, it's got a stop rotor on its back. And when it's a pure helicopter, it's got stub wings. But that's it, it's doing the same job as the Osprey without the transformer shape change and the complexity. All you have to do is muck around with the pitch of the blades and all three uh, rotors and muck around with the clutch on the main rotor. That's all you have to do. And also give it a bit of angle of attack and stuff as well. But started up. That's it, you know. It's not like you think oh, you have to pick the nose right up a lot for rotor startup. It's about six degrees. All you need, you know. Going by my rotor test. <laughs> a little plastic propeller and you get that much data is amazing, eh? A little orange plastic propeller. <laughs> Aeroplane yeah. propeller gave me that data. Didn't need a wind tunnel. Oh, I had a car. Somebody else's idea with the propellers. With my stop rotor idea. Now, with my stop rotor ideas, it's not like most stop rotors where they have the stop rotor as they act like a wing. Now, there has been tried by NASA but not marginally successful, not really regarded as successful. <laughs> and there's other people trying to do it, but the aerofoil of the blades is different. And one blade has to work, go through the air backwards. So the aerofoil is backwards, so it won't work if you want to use it for lift. So I don't use the idea for lift, it's purely to make it more streamlined and save fuel. That's all. The lift is taken up by the stub wings or by the wraparound wings. In the case of this one, the idea of this is so we can have protection around the, around the rotor. So it's a Jetsons craft. All the rotors are protected. The, the, um, that's a four-seater Jetsons craft. <laughs> Good for Dubai. That's what they need in Dubai, they need this. <laughs>